Welcome back. You're watching CHA Today. I'm your host, Jennifer Gallman. The Housing Authority is currently bringing together Section 8 participants to learn more about community resources. Here to tell us more is Section 8 Project Manager, Ms. Tamika Melvin. Tamika, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Now, the Housing Authority is part of a Moving Forward initiative, and one of its main goals is to help families move to self-reliance. Sometimes that can be difficult with Section 8. Can you tell us a little bit about Section 8 and why that's difficult? Um, yes, it's, it has been difficult bringing our families together since they're located all over Mecklenburg County. One of the new programs that we're trying to introduce is a participant advisory committee and a MTW kickoff. Um, the MTW kickoff, we've partnered with various agencies in the community with educational resources, um, employment resources, and youth activities um, to bring our families together in one place so that they will have access to um, these community partners. So it's going to be one day, couple hours, fellowship, fun activities with resources. Yes, the event is actually going to be held May 22nd from 12 o'clock to 2 p.m. Um, we are going to have the, um, refreshments for our families, youth activities, and it's going to be located at the Carol Hefner Center. Now, all of this is to help bring some families together to have them start to learn about what you call the Participant Advisory Committee? Yes, the Section 8 Department would like to establish a Participant Advisory Committee. The purpose of the committee is to solicit feedback from our Section 8 families. We would like to know what type of activities and initiatives they would like the Section 8 Department to um, implement under our Moving Forward program. So the committee, in order for it to get started, you have to kind of generate the interest. So that's what the kickoff is. Yeah, the kickoff is designed to generate interest for our families, get families signed up, um, so that we can hold future meetings um, to get input from them on our policies, procedures, and future initiatives. And that's important because this is an innovative initiative for the Housing Authority, correct? Yes. Um, only select housing authorities are in the moving to work program. So under this program, we have the flexibility to implement new programs, policies, and procedures that can help our families move towards self-reliance. So an important part of PAC is getting the participants involved so they can give some feedback on the current programs? Yes. Um, a lot of times we may think an idea is good, but we need feedback from the families to see what they actually need and what they would like us to implement to help them. I know sometimes in the community there can be some, some negative perceptions that are actually wrong about Section 8 participants. What, what will this committee um, be able to do to help residents uh, who participate in Section 8 kind of get, give a voice for, for some of that information? We would like to have their voice, um, as I said, with policies and procedures, but also to help us spread the word in the community that our Section 8 families are great families and contribute to the community. Um, a lot of people think that our families um, live in run down houses and commit a lot of program violations. However, out of over 4,000 participants, we only have about 8% that have um, any type of program violations. And the families, um, to qualify for a voucher, have to go through a screening process, correct? Yes, all of our families must pass a criminal background check before they're entered into the program. And as part of our Moving Forward initiative, um, families will now be given a criminal background screening each year at their annual recertification. And we're now doing those for all household members 16 and up. In Section 8 families, they can pick where they want to live, and what they get is a voucher, which is some rental assistance, correct? Yes, the voucher goes with the participants, so they have um, a variety of housing options. They can rent a townhouse, condo, apartment, or a single-family home. So the choice is up to the family which housing best suits their individual needs. And I know some people in the community think that all of their rent is paid. Is that correct? We pay a portion of the tenant's rent. Um, the tenant p must pay 30% of their income towards their rent. And we also have um, minimum rent. So even if you're unemployed, all of our program participants pay some portion of rent. So there is a rent no matter what, and it's just based on income? Yes. Except for the minimum rent, the qualification just stated about. Yes. Um, and there are a lot of families working. Yes, we have families that are working, but unfortunately they don't make a living wage where they are able to afford um, a home on the private market. 
And, you know, I had an opportunity to a attend a Section 8 family self-sufficiency meeting one time and, and got to hear some of the uh, occupations that the families have. And some of the things I heard were health aides and bus drivers. These are people that play a very important role in the community, part of the economic engine, um, part of the process of educating our youth, who are the next future leaders of tomorrow. So yeah. they, they definitely have a positive role in the community. Um, so I think this is great that you want to bring everyone together. Is there a number that people could call if they would like to learn more about the PAC program? Yes, I could be contacted directly. My number is 704-336-6160. Now, once they're part of the program, will there be more um, events like the kickoff going on th um, annually or every quarter throughout the year that families can participate in if they don't get involved in the first one? Yes, this is our first event, and we would like to um, hold events like this more frequently, um, depending on how many families we come um, that come out and express interest for more events. But right now, we're planning to have at least quarterly meetings and maybe an annual kickoff. What about partners? Are you looking for partners to help um, build resources for the families as well as assist in growing the committee? We're always looking for partners under the Moving Forward program. Um, any community community partnership that we can establish to help our families, we're very interested. We also are trying to go out into various neighborhoods to tell them about the Section 8 department and what families must do to be on the program to help combat some of these negative stereotypes. So basically, if there are some neighborhood associations that would like to learn more about Section 8, they can also contact you? Yes, and we would come out and do a community presentation, answer any questions that they would have about the Section 8 process. Tamika, thank you so much for your time today. We really appreciate you coming on the show and let us, us know more about the PAC program as well as the Section 8 um, Department's program. Thank you. Unfortunately, we've run out of time. For more information about the Participant Advisory Committee or having a Section 8 presentation in your neighborhood, please contact Ms. Melvin at 704-336-6160. If you have any questions about today's show or suggestions for future shows, please email us at chatoday at caj-nc.org. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.